Good morning, developers. If you are new to the channel, my name is Rob, and it is CS Thursday, the day that we focus on the theory behind computer architecture, programming, and so on. And today, we're gonna to look to answer the question, what is an HTTP request in five minutes or less? Well, all over the world at this very moment, there are devices that are talking to one another via their internet connection. Sooner or later, it almost always comes down to, to some kind of fiber optic cable, but via Wi-Fi, etc. And back and forth between these computers is going data. What does that mean? Well, they are packets. Data as it passes around comes in the form of a packet and packets have five layers. Uh, there is a seven layer model, but I prefer the five layer model. At the very top of that is the application layer and inside of the application layer, or I guess I should say HTTP lives in the application layer. If you're interested in how a packet is, is set up and, and the format and a little bit more detail, I have another video that I can link in the description. But anytime you make data requests of any kind, a packet is going around and one of the layers is application. If you make an HTTP request, you are at the top. And what does it look like? Well, all of the layers have pretty much the same format. It's called a frame and it has a header and a body. And the header is metadata, meaning it is data about data. Header describes what is inside of the body. What's an example inside of HTTP? Well, they are key value pairs and a very common one that you probably have interacted with before is content type. That would be the key. What are some possible values? You could have a text slash HTML. You could have image slash PNG and so on. If you wanna, you wanna search uh, for HTTP headers, you'll get a ton of different options. You wanna search for MIME types to see all the content types, you can do that as well. But this is what is getting sent at the, again, at the top of the packet whenever an HTTP request gets sent. And the most common use case is going to be from a browser to a server. And I have no proof to say that's the most common. It just seems likely because every time you load a web page and all of the, the AJAX requests in the background, those are made uh, via HTTP. This is the information that gets sent over in the response, which is still part of the HTTP request, is going to be the exact same format. Let's take a look at what it looks like. Curl is a really cool command line tool that will allow us to issue network requests. Uh, by default, at least I think, it, it's always gonna be an HTTP GET. You can give it tons of parameters. But dash V, is, it means verbose, meaning to show me all the information you've got, and then we give it a host. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit google.com. Uh, and this very literally allows us to see the frame, the, the headers and the body. If you start here, the arrow pointing to the right, that is our request going out to Google. And uh, the, the first, the lines before that, it's just network information. But we, we sent a get request to slash. We didn't give it a path, so it went to google.com slash. And then it shows us the protocol, HTTP 1.1. And then we see the headers. Left side is the key, right side is the value. So host, google.com, user agent, curl, 8.1.2. The user agent could have been Chrome or Firefox, etc. And then we have a blank space. And that's always there to separate the body from the headers. We didn't have a body, so it didn't send anything. And then you can see we get that left arrow right here. That's the request we got back from Google. It's, it's a response, but it's still an HTTP request. Same protocol. We got the status code of 301, that it moved permanently, and then the headers. Location, www.google.com. Content type, text slash HTML. The, the empty line is down at the bottom there. That says, hey, the body's about to start and then there's the HTML. So who's ever on the other end, the user agent. In our case, it's curl, so it just literally printed it off because that's what curl does. But if it was a browser, it would parse that. Why? Because, oh, you told me <laughs> up in the headers that this was HTML. If it was an image, a slash PNG, it would try it and render it. That right there is pretty much the basics of an HTTP request. It's fun to play around with. I invite you to do so. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.